Hello, karibu ndio kujifunza na hapa tunaendelea na somo la 25, lesson 25. Na katika lesson 25 tutajifunza mambo yafuatayo. Tutaangalia hili neno either ambalo linaungana na all katika sentensi, neither linaungana na nor katika sentensi. Tutaona mahali ambapo hii either inaweza katumika peke yake bila all, lakini pia neither ambapo inaweza katumika peke yake bila nor. Lakini neno linaweza katamkwa either au either. Hili neno inaweza katamkwa neither au neither. Tutaangalia maana kamili kupitia mifano tulionayo katika sentensi zifuatazo. Tuna sentensi ya kwanza ambayo ni hii hapa. Sentence number one. You can either start a business or find a job. Ambayo inamaanisha unaweza ama ukaanzisha biashara au kupata kazi. You can either start a business unaweza ama kuanzisha biashara au unaweza ama ukaanzisha biashara au find a job au kapata kazi you are hard working you are hard working inamaanisha unafanya kazi kwa bidii au wewe ni mchapa kazi you are hard working kwa hiyo kwa pamoja number 1 inakuwa you can either start a business or find a job you are hard working unaweza ama ukaanzisha biashara au Kupa, au kapata kazi wewe ni mchapa kazi au wewe unafanya kazi kwa bidii you are hard working. Kwa hiyo utaona kwamba hapa either inamaanisha ama or au. Kwa hiyo ni kitu fulani ama kitu fulani au kitu fulani. Na hii hapa inatumika hasa kwa vitu viwili. Kwa ni kati ya vitu viwili. Kufanya kitu fulani Unaweza ama ukafanya kitu fulani au ukafanya kitu kingine tofauti. Na mfano wa pili ni huu hapa. Example 2. She can neither start a business nor find a job. She can either start a business ingemaanisha anaweza ama kuanzisha biashara, lakini unapoweka neither linakanusha hili neno au inakanusha kitendo ambacho imeambatana nacho. Kwa hiyo she can neither hawezi start a business, hawezi kuanzisha biashara. She can neither start a business wala kupata kazi. She can neither start a business nor find a job. Hawezi kuanzisha biashara wala kupata kazi. Kwa hiyo tunaona kwamba neither ni kinyume cha either. Kwa hiyo neither nor ni kinyume cha either or. Kwa hiyo itaonesha neither nor itaonesha vitu viwili ambavyo vyote haviwezekani lakini either or itaonesha vitu viwili ambavyo vinawezekana kwa hiyo kati ya hicho kimoja kifanyike neither nor itaonesha vitu viwili ambavyo vyote haviwezekani maana kati ya hivyo viwili hakuna hata kimoja kinawezekana she can neither start a business nor find a job hawezi kuanzisha biashara wala kupata kazi she is too lazy she is too lazy na maanisha ni mvivu sana au ni mvivu kupitiliza she is too lazy kwa pamoja number 2 She can neither start a business nor find a job. She is too lazy. Hawezi kuanzisha biashara wala kupata kazi. Ni mvivu sana. Ambapo hii neither ni sana ile kusema si, lakini sawa kiunganisha na kitendo inakuwa ni kukikanusha kile kitendo. Twende number 3. Number 3. Number 3 inasema he can't start a business. Ambayo inamaanisha hawezi kuanzisha biashara. He can't start a business, lakini hii ni wa kiume. Ambapo ungeweza kutumia pia jina lolote hapa la kiume au kasema kwa mfano vitu kama my friend your teacher my brother my father na kadhalika kwenye hii kwenye she pia ungeweza kutumia vile vile majina lakini pia ukielekeza kwa upande wa kike he can't start a business nor find a job ambapo hapa hawezi kuanzisha biashara wala nor wala kupata kazi he can't start a business nor find a job. Kwa hiyo kwamba nor imetumika kwa upande ambao tayari huku kitu hakiwezekani kwa hiyo na kingine cha mbele hakiwezekani. He can't start a business nor find a job. Hawezi kuanzisha biashara wala kupata kazi. What can you do to help him? What can you do to help him? Unaweza kufanya nini ili kumsaidia? Unaweza kufanya nini kumsaidia? What can you do to help him? Lakini pia unaweza kufanya kitu kingine kwa upande wa hii sentence. Ukasema kama ifuatavyo. He can't start a business neither can he find a job he can start a business neither can he find a job hawezi kuanzisha biashara 
hawezi kupata yani hapa hii hi nidha ikija kuongezeka hapa ni sana kusema hawezi kupata kazi pia neither can he find a job he can start a business neither can he find a job kwa hiyo utaangalia ule mtiririko wa sentence alafu hapa neither unaweza kaiacha hapa afu ukao unacheza na vitu ambavyo vinakuja huku mbele na hapa mwanzo ukabadilisha kulingana na vile unavyotaka lakini kwa kufuata mwongozo wa sentence kama hii lakini pia kufuata mwongozo wa sentence kama hii hizi ni hizi ni sentence za mfano ambazo zinakuonesha kile ambacho unaweza ukafanya binafsi kwa namna tofauti tofauti ili kupata vitu vingi zaidi au pia utakapokutana na vitu kama hivi katika sentence tofauti na hizi ujue ni nini kimelengwa katika sentence hizo utakazokuwa unazisoma au kuzisikia kwa hiyo kuna hii hapa ambayo ni no lakini hapo utaona kwamba no imeenda moja kwa moja na kitendo cha pili ambacho hakiwezekani au kitu cha pili ambacho hakiwezekani lakini unapotumia neither unaongeza pia hiki kitendo na na kiwakilisha ujina kwa hiyo neither can he afu inakuwa imeenda kwa mtiririko kama waswali vile kwa sababu he can find a job anaweza kupata kazi lakini neither can he find a job hawezi kupata kazi au hawezi kupata kazi pia kwa sababu inaanzia huku kwenye kitu kingine ambacho tayari tunaona hakiwezekani number 4 Number 4 ni hii hapa. Number 4 inasema hivi. Neither you nor your friend. Maana yake hapa ni sana kusema si wewe wala rafiki yako. Si wewe wala rafiki yako. La, lakini wengine pia kwa Kiswahili utasikia nasema si wewe ama rafiki yako ambayo inamaanisha kwamba wewe au rafiki yako miongoni mwenu wawili au kati yenu wawili hakuna hata mmoja anaweza kufanya au kutimiza kile ambacho kita kitaendelea mbele ya sentence husika. Kwa hiyo neither you nor your friend can solve this problem. Neither you nor your friend can solve this problem. Ambayo inamaanisha si wewe wala rafiki yako wanaweza kutatua tatizo hili. Solve this problem maana yake inamaanisha tatua tatizo hili. Kwa hiyo si wewe wala rafiki yako wanaweza kutatua tatizo hili. We need an expert. We need an, an expert inamaanisha tunahitaji mtaalamu. Tunahitaji mtu aliyebobea katika utatuzi wa tatizo husika au tatizo kama hilo ambalo litakuwa limetajwa katika mazingira husika neither you nor your friend can solve this problem we need an expert si wewe wala rafiki yako unaweza kutatua tatizo hili tunahitaji mtaalamu number 4 number 5 20 number 5 number 5 neither of your parents neither of your parents Manake hakuna hata mmoja kati ya wazazi wako. Your parents ni wawili kwa sababu wazazi ni baba na mama. Kwa hiyo hakuna hata mmoja kati ya wazazi wako. Hakuna hata mmoja kati ya wazazi wako. Neither of your parents. Hakuna hata mmoja kati ya wazazi wako. Lakini hapo ungetoa hii neither kwa kutoa hii any tu ikabaki either. Either of your parents ingemaanisha yoyote kati ya wazazi wako. Manake awe baba au mama. Kati ya baba au mama kuna mmoja anaweza kufanya kitu fulani. Lakini hapa tuanze kwanza na hii ilivyo neither of your parents knows my name neither of your parents knows my name hakuna hata mmoja kati ya wazazi wako anajua jina langu neither of your parents knows my name kwa hiyo utacheza na hapa kwenye your parents unaweza kutoka kitu kingine na hapa vitendo na maelezo ya huku mbele ukatoa kwa vitu vingine kulingana na mahitaji yako binafsi either kwa kufanya mazoezi au kwa matumizi katika mazingira fulani unaotaka kutumia sentensi husika lakini utakumbuka neither of afu utaweka vitu viwili hapa alafu utaendeleza huku mbele na vitu viwili au watu wawili ambao hawezi kufanya kitu fulani au vitu viwili ambavyo haviwezi kutimiza lengo fulani ambapo sasa ingekuwa either either of your parents knows my name ingekuwa mmoja kati ya wazazi wako anajua jina langu either of your parents knows my name Twende mfano nambari sita. Na jumla tuna mifano nane. Kwa hiyo tunakaribia kufika mwisho wa somo hili, lakini umakini unahitajika kwa kila sentence kwa sababu inakuwa imebeba kitu fulani cha kukusaidia katika matumizi ya neither, nor au either or. Twende katika example 6. Example 6, example 6. They don't have any English book. They don't have any English book na maanisha hawana kitabu chochote cha Kiingereza. They don't have any English book. Hawana kitabu chochote cha Kiingereza. Hapa inaweza kuwa ni mtu fulani anasema kwa mfano mimi na wewe. Wewe unasema hawana kitabu chochote cha Kiingereza. Alafu na mimi nikasema neither do I. Maana mimi pia sina. Neither do I. They don't have 
utagundua kwamba hapa kuna don't ndio sababu imekuwa do. Ingekuwa can't hapa ingekuwa can. Neither can I. They can't speak English. Neither can I. Hawezi kuzunguza Kiingereza. Mimi pia siwezi. Neither can I. Neither do I. They don't have any English book. Wana tabu chochote cha Kiingereza. Neither do I. Mimi pia sina. Au hata mimi. Ni sana kusema hata mimi kwa Kiswahili. Hata mimi. Hawana hata mimi sina. Na wengine wanasema na mimi pia sina. Neither do I. Lakini pia kuna mwingine utamsikia anasema nor do I. Ni vile vile naye atakuwa amejiweka ame katika kundi la iki kipengele ambacho ni cha kutokuwa na au kutoweza kufanya kitu fulani. Nor do I. Neither do I au nor do I. They don't have any English book. Nor do I. Mimi pia sina. Au hata mimi. Lakini pia namna nyingine unaweza ukaacha uka, uka, uka kutumia neither na nor ukatumia either ambapo sasa utaitumia kwa mtindo huu hapa I don't either I don't either mimi pia sina I don't either Kwa I don't either I can't either nisema kusema hata mimi mimi pia sina kwa namna tofauti tofauti kwa hiyo utakuwa makini na hivi vipengele vitatu uvifanyie mazoezi ya kutosha mpaka vikae kichwani uweze kuvitumia kwa uhuru bila kubahatisha Twende katika mfano wa saba example 7 example 7 inasema hivi either it now or after watching the news either it now or after watching the news inamaanisha ama kula sasa au kula sasa hivi au baada ya kuangalia habari au baada ya kutazama habari either kwa Kiswahili pia unaweza kusikia mtu anasema either kula sasa au baada ya kutazama habari lakini pia itakuwa ama kula sasa au baada ya kutazama habari it's up to you to decide it's up to you to decide inamaanisha ni juu yako kuchagua lakini ukishia tu it's up to you inamaanisha ni juu yako it's up to you ama kula sasa au baada ya kutazama habari ni juu yako it's up to you it's up to you to decide ni juu yako kuchagua au ni juu yako kuamua it's up to you to decide Twende mfano wa mwisho kwa somo hili ambao ni huu hapa nane. Which book would you like to buy? Which book would you like to buy? Ungependa kununua kitabu kipi au ungependa kununua kitabu gani? Au wengine wanasema hivi ni kitabu gani ungependa kununua? Which book would you like to buy? Jibu la kwanza inaweza kuwa either. Maana labda kuna vitabu viwili kati ya ambavyo ungependa maana unge, ungependa kununua kipi kati ya viwili ambavyo ni vitabu. Unaweza kusema either ukaishia hapo tu chochote kati ya hivi viwili either which book do you like to buy either chochote kati ya hivi viwili they are both great they are both great manake both inatumika kwa vitu viwili kwa hiyo they are both great manake vyote viwili ni vizuri sana either they are both great which book do you like to buy ungependa kununua kitabu kipi either they are both great chochote kati ya hivi viwili vyote ni vizuri sana lakini pia unaweza kuvikataa vyote viwili kwa kusema hivi neither. Hakuna hata kimoja kati ya hivyo viwili. Neither. They are both terrible. They are both terrible inamaanisha vyote ni vya ovyo au vyote havifai au vyote ni vibaya sana. They are both terrible. Neither. Hakuna chochote kati ya hivyo viwili. Vyote ni vibaya sana au vyote ni vya ovyo. Kwa hiyo baada ya kuona haya maelezo na hii mifano ambayo nimetoa Nitaanza tena mwanzo mpaka mwisho kwa kusoma kwa Kiingereza tu ili kukusaidia kujikumbusha na kuona kama unakumbuka kile kitu ambacho nimekieleza kuanzia mwanzo mpaka mwisho na uone wapi unaweza kuhitaji kufanya marudio au kufanya mazoezi kwa kina ili uelewe namna ya kutumia neither nor either or katika sentence kama hiyo ambayo nitakuwa nimekuoneshea hapa kwa mfano Number one, You can either start a business or find a job you are hard working Number two, She can neither start a business nor find a job. She is too lazy. Number three. He can't start a business nor find a job. What can you do to help him? Samia Kapiri, he can't start a business, neither can he find a job. Number four. Neither you nor your friend can solve this problem. We need an expert. Number five. Neither of your parents knows my name. Number six. They don't have any English book. 
Neither do I, nor do I. I don't either. Number seven, either eat now or after watching the news. It's up to you to decide. Number eight, which book would you like to buy? Either, they're both great. Neither, they're both terrible. 